We want to talk a little bit now about what to do with empty space, kind of useless space in your master bedroom, because so many people have big master bedrooms now. Right. I think it's a real trend that people want a big master bedroom. You get your king size bed, your two night tables. You have a walk-in closet and a big ensuite. I hope. So really, yeah, that would be nice. you have this corner of your bedroom that you don't know what to do with. Yeah. And rather than putting a whole sofa and chairs and another living room, yeah. I think it needs to be kind of more aspirational, where you know you can shave, lounge on your chaise so and recline and yes. have wine in the corner of your bedroom. Oh, I love so, that life. That's a good life. Let's imagine we're all there. So let's talk about using that space with a chaise and how you might want to style around it. Well, so I just did two vignettes here. One yeah. more modern, a little bit cleaner, no accessories. The lamp isn't on a table. The lamp stands on the floor. It's sculptural, has nice. a beautiful marble base. Tufted chaise, so it still gives you that really romantic feel. Yeah. But the whole form of it is very modern. Mm -hmm. And then a sculptural a uh, silver table, a log, petrified log, sprayed <laughs> silver, so that it becomes really about three forms all working together. And hopefully you do have a backdrop of something. So whether right. it's your window, whether it's your bookcase, kind of your activity visually happens before. If you had a huge painting behind this vignette, it would still all look great. Okay, but can you actually live like that? Like between me and you? Can you have the hey, table with nothing big, on it? That's big enough for a glass of wine. Okay, just a glass of wine then. Yep, At least yep. there's something on it though. There you go. For me, I'd have a stack <laughs> of magazines. I'd be like, where am I putting my books? Shove them under the well, chairs. I, mean, I don't know. You could definitely add a magazine rack to either of these right. and make it and have a throw on them and make it a little more personal. Yeah. But in terms of the guts of what you're buying at a store, that's kind of what I'm showing you. Got you. It's very contemporary, very clean. Now, how would you describe this space? Well, this is my version of traditional. Okay. I know. <laughs> this is as traditional as he gets. <laughs> So anyway, it's, it's, it's very clean, very contemporary. The wood frame just makes it a little more serious. Yeah. We've picked up that dark color on the steel table. It yes. has a black mirrored top. And then this is where you get into accessories and a little bit of personality. So some antique books, mm -hmm. some blown glass globes, a lamp in a silver finish. This is all a little more classic, a little more timeless, uh, Timeless, yes, right. definitely not as edgy and modern as the first one. Right, okay, so this is an interesting thing to consider because a lot of people don't think that. They think, let me have the whole living room space, but they're not really using it. No, and I mean, even if you were going to read a book, this chaise would be equally as comfortable to read a book on as a chair that you're going to put with a sofa and right. the reality is it's by the time you're on the sofa you're falling asleep anyways right. so you may as well go to bed. Yeah that's true. <laughs> this just actually looks more dramatic which I like. Exactly. You need someone with a big leaf fanning you and some grapes. <laughs> right? Don't you think that when you see a chaise? Great ideas. Thanks so much Eric.